All right, guys, a little jiu-jitsu warm-up for you. I want you to open your arms, roll them around. There we go. Roll them around. Just going to do a little warm-up here. You guys that have asked for this video, how do I warm up before jiu-jitsu? Go back. Just want to warm up those shoulders. It's really important to warm up, especially your small muscles and your muscle joint and your joints. Just like so. Just want you to bring them up and down. Just fly them up, fly them down. Just like so. There we go. Good. Bring them up, bring them back. Bring them up and back. Back and forth. Just bring them up, bring them back. Someone asked me the other day, when you first start class, do you breathe hard? Yes, I do. Everybody does because your, your lungs aren't open yet, so your muscles are going to burn at first. You're going to breathe hard at first, no matter what belt you are. Belt doesn't have anything to do with your lungs. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to go circle back, circle back, circle back. Good. I'm going to kind of keep some of these short so you can make them as long as you want to. Good. Going back forward. Good. Hands on your hips. I want you to look down. You're going to roll your head to the side and roll it all the way back slow. You're warm with that neck. It's real important. Our neck is not made of much, so it's real important. Go back the other way. Now we warm up our neck. Back the other way. And again, you can stop this video at any time and keep those. Now just go all the way right, left. This is something I try to do before I train. Go back to the left, right. Good. Keep your head up, and I just want you to look side to side slowly. Keep going. Good. Now just simply up and down. Up and down. Good. Now I want you to take your right ear to your shoulder, and I want you to push your left side to the floor. I want you to really push that shoulder down to the floor. Good. Let's do the other side. Ear to the shoulder. Really push that shoulder, arm, and everything down to the floor like you're trying to reach down without bending over to grab something. Right? Yeah. Just like that. Good. Stretch in that trap area. Good. Now I want you to put your hands on your hips. I want you to widen out your base a little bit, which means open your feet. Right here, I just want you to lean back and look back. Lean back, look back. Let's kind of reset our back a little bit here. Now stay leaning back and just kind of go side to side here real slow. Don't make anything rapid and fast. Good. Now I want you to take your hands. And touch the floor for me. Keep your feet open right now. Roll up slow, slow vertebrae or vertebrae right there. I'm going to re-angle this camera just a little bit because I'm probably going to sit down here shortly. Re-angle this camera a little bit so you can see me when I sit down. Good. So I want you to put your feet together. Keep your feet flat right now. I want you to go down and touch the floor or as far down as you can. We're just going to hold that for about 10 seconds. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can. Good. Roll up slow. Good. Now I want you to take your feet. You can see my hands. And I want you to turn on the side of your feet. Can you see my feet? I hope you can see my feet in this video. I'm just going to stand on the side of your feet with your big toes in the air, basically. And now let's go down. It's going to stretch the sides now right here. We don't get a lot of stretching. I'm going to stretch the sides of those, of those legs and those, that calf area. Kind of swing your trunk side to side. Keep your legs straight, just like that.
Come up slow. Every time you come up slow, come up slow. Let those vertebrae restack on those vertebrae. Because sometimes you've been at work all day or, or maybe it's early in the morning and you're still kind of fresh. We don't want to ever start a workout without a warm-up because our bodies need to warm up. This is how we keep and refrain from injury. So, simply right here, we're just going to rock and roll. Get our back, pop our back back in shape a little bit. Kind of massage that back out a little bit. Keep that going. Now, if you can, I want you to go all the way over, but I want you to keep your I want you to keep your legs as straight as you can so we can hit that lower back area, okay? We're gonna go all the way over, keeping those legs straight as we can, just like that. Good. You now we're simply gonna straighten our legs out, toes up, just grab those, simply grab those toes. I kinda want you to rock side to side. You're gonna sometimes, this really helps me to kinda reset my lower back a little bit, especially after a long day, before I train sometime. Just like that, side to side. Good, now I want you to simply bring your left foot in, close to your cup area right here and I want you to take your right foot I'll scoot over this way a little bit I want you to take your right foot and I want you to bring it over as far as you can and I want you to try to keep your foot as flat as you can on the mat and I want you to hug your knee you're gonna feel this really good in your hip your lower back area these are areas that we we tend to pull a lot in martial arts and we tend to hurt a lot because we don't really know how to stretch them this is a really good stretch right here and again, if you want to stop this video at any time and continue that stretch, you can. Good. Now I want you to kind of straighten your leg out, kind of bang it out a little bit. Now I want you to keep the same pose, but I want you to simply bring your foot in, just like so. I want you to stack it. If at any time, I see this kind of stuff a lot where people go, they try to force the foot up and they end up hurting their knee. So don't, if this is all you can do right now, this is fine, this is all you can do, right? If you can, I want you to take that foot, I want you to put it right here in your lap, and I want you to put your elbows on the ground right here, or as far as you can down. Kind of rock it side to side real easy. Again, don't force it. Remember, your muscles are kind of like, kind of like a string. If you go too far, they're gonna, they're gonna pop and they're gonna break. A lot of people get hurt when they stretch because they try to overstretch. Just stretch until you feel a good stretch and stop there. Don't try to overstretch it. Good, so let's switch this. I'm gonna take my right foot, bring it in. I'm gonna bring my left foot over now, and I'm gonna simply hug that knee. Good, keep that hug going. These are really good warm-ups before you start your martial arts. They're also a good warm-up if you're gonna weight lift or run or anything, any, any type of activity. It doesn't necessarily have to be martial arts. Make sure that you're not just sitting up here but make sure that you bring your chest to your knee. Really hug that knee in because you're really gonna feel it. My hips used to bother me, really for years bothered me until I started learning some different hip stretches. And this is one of them that really keeps me from injury and allows me to rest at night um, because I'm stretching these particular muscle groups out. Good, straighten that leg out a little bit, bang it out a little bit, bring it back in. Again, don't force it because you don't wanna hurt your knee. Um, it's nothing worse than um, hurting yourself when you're stretching and you can't really train. Okay, just kind of bring that down. Just kind of rock it out a little bit. Right here, good. So just rock that out a little bit. One thing about martial arts is um, it's real important that we, that we stretch. If it's kicking, you're gonna be able to kick higher without injury. You're gonna be able to also be looser. You're gonna be faster. Um, and the main thing is you're really going to keep away from a lot of injuries that you might have occurred had you not been flexible. It's real important that we're flexible guys. Good. So I want you to simply take your right leg and I want you to lay it just like mine right here. Okay, can we see that? So if you're sitting like this, I want you to bring that leg in and I want you to put your knee on the ground, hands down. I want you to kick this leg straight back and I want you to simply sit up 
on that leg. And I want you to, instead of staying high, I want you again, I want you to go down low here and put your elbows down and kind of hug the floor again, feeling this hip and knee area here. These are vital areas for martial artists um, to be flexible in. Just like that. I kind of like, I kind of like just kind of rock back and forth here, just to kind of work that muscle out. This is kind of one of those stretches that you're in front of the TV at night and you kind of, you kind of get so, it starts to feel so good that you don't want to let it go. So again, if you want to stop the video at any time, keep that stretch going, go ahead. Good. I'm not going to stay long on these. Good. Let's just simply go back to our seated position right here. Bring my left foot in right here. Kick my right leg back. Hands down for balance, and just kind of roll up. If you want to make this, increase this stretch a little bit, you can bring your leg forward more. So my foot is back, so if I want to bring my foot forward a little more, I can. Right, I'm gonna just kick that and lower that down. Yeah, good little stretch here. Again, you can rock it back and forth if you want to. At any time, when you're, when you're doing your stretches, at any time that you feel like you're starting to cramp up and you need to stand up and walk it off, go ahead and do that so that you're, you don't end up with some muscle lock. If you're having continual muscle lock, um, a lot of times you, you may need more potassium in your, in, your, in your diet or you may basically um, need to relax those muscles in a certain way. Uh, massage is real good for that, different things. Sometimes you may have a muscle lock that needs to be rubbed out, so just different things like that. All right, cool. Yeah, good. So I want you, basically I want you to kind of come up. Let me back up a little bit here so we can see on the video. I want you to kind of come up and kind of sit back on your knees right here so we get the pose down right here. This is what I like to do. Sometimes people that try to do the splits, a lot of times they tend to say, well, I've got really bad knees, so when I try to do the splits to stretch this inside area, uh, it really hurts my knees. So we're going to get an alternate for that real quick. And I'm going to kind of turn it this way so you guys can see what's going on. So, we gotta do it. so I'm kind of turning right there. Good. So I want you to kind of sit up, and I want you to keep your feet together in the back. And I want you just, just like you're doing a split, I want you to kind of come out just like so. But it's don't sit way back and don't lean too forward. Kind of stay right over your belt line. Right here and just kind of stretch that from, and kind of go side to side here you'll feel a really good stretch um, in that inner in that in that growing area just like that kind of side to side just like that good a lot of times it's really important I'm going to go forward here so you can see um, it's really important a lot of times too that you stretch your hips before you stretch your growing area because the hips have a big part to play and the way we stretch the growing area, if the hips are locking up, then that means the hips are too tight, which is not going to allow us to go down and really stretch the growing area like we need to. Good. So, again, stay on this as long as you want to. Good. Come back up. So now we're simply going to get over here a little bit. We're simply going to stretch my foot out right here, keeping my knee down, right? And go ahead and use your hands. A lot of people come up here and they try to do this, right? But they end up with a balance issue. So I just want you to put your hands down, and I just want you to slide your foot out as far as it'll go. Now watch my foot. Just kind of, once it gets to a point where it won't go anymore, just kind of kind of wiggle your heel, and you'll feel it go a little more, okay? Now I want you to take and just kind of bend that direction. Yeah, just like that. Get that good stretch in there. Keep your, keep your toe on the floor. Can you see my toe? Keep your, don't let your toe come way up here, right here, because we're not stretching the hams right now. We're stretching the inner, inner, that inner thigh. Good, so kind of bring it down. Take your elbow and put it on the ground. Yeah, 